Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Kohler, and the purpose of this training video is to show students all of the steps of the physical examination from start to finish so that you get some idea of how the steps flow one to the other and how to make a transition from one body system to another. We're not going to focus on the details uh, of the steps during this examination or any close-ups. Uh, and if you feel like you need some uh, reference to the details, I'd refer you back to the individual exam series uh, for those details. Uh, this examination, of course, is on the male patient, so there'll be no axillary lymph nodes uh, or no breast examination. And also, we will not do a genital examination on this video. And I'd like to thank John, one of our standardized patients, for agreeing to be part of this uh, training video. Uh, the steps, of course, can be in a different order. It's not critical that every one of the steps follow the order that you see in your outlines from uh, class. But what is important is that all the steps are done. Uh, you do want to make sure that you, if you rearrange the steps, that you try to minimize patient movement up and down uh, and pay attention to patient comfort if you arrange the steps so that there is a, a flow for the patient and there's no unnecessary movement. And of course, before we begin any examination, we always wash our hands. So first, I'm going to wash my hands. The first step of the examination would be to describe the patient's general appearance. And of course, you're not going to describe that to the patient, but throughout the history, you're going to be noting uh, whether the patient looks at their apparent age, uh, whether they're in any apparent pain or distress, and also whether their respiratory pattern is uh, labored or is there any sign of distress. And John certainly appears his stated age. He doesn't appear to be in any discomfort. Uh, his hygiene is good, and uh, there's no obvious uh, signs of pain. So I'll just go ahead and move on. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, ask you to hold out your hands for me, John. I'm just going to take a look at your hands and your fingers here. Is there any pain or discomfort no. as I do that? How about these joints or knuckles or any pain? No. Then put your palms up. Okay, good. And put your wrists back down again. Any pain when I press on your wrist bones here? No. No? Good. And I'm just going to feel along your forearms there. Okay. I'm going to feel different parts of your elbow. Is there any pain or discomfort no. as I press on those bony prominences? No. I'm just going to press a little bit higher. There's some time or some lymph nodes higher up in the arm, but uh, again, I don't feel that. So you can rest your arms down. The next thing I want to do is to check some range of motion and muscle tone. So I'm going to ask you to kind of let your arm go loose and kind of floppy here. And could move it back and forth, good. Kind of bend your elbow back and forth, and your wrist up and down. In and out, good. I come around the other side and do that over here too. Again, just kind of back and forth. Just relax your arm, good. Your wrist back and forth, good. Okay. Now I want to um, have you check for uh, you doing the range of motion. Can you hold your wrists up, cock them up, then then down, good. Then put your wrists in, then out, good. Spread your fingers out and back in. Make a fist and make muscles and go straight out. Good. Now I want to test the strength in your upper extremities. So could you put your arms up like that, hold them real strong, don't let me push down. Good. And make muscles like that, pull in towards you real strong, good. And push out against me. Good. And next I'm going to have you um, hold your wrists up. I'm sorry. Good. And don't let me push them down real strong, good. Now push down to my hands. Okay. Okay. Push down. Good. Make sure to grab my fingers. Squeeze real hard. Good, okay. The other thing I want to do is uh, have your elbows at your side and check your wrists to go up and down. Good. Okay. All right, good. So that's pretty good for the, the upper extremities. Now I want to check the pulses in your wrists. So just kind of relax your arms. I'm going to count your pulse here by walk, looking at my watch. Good, and your pulse is nice and regular, and I get it to be about 78, so that's normal. The next step I want to do, John, is to check your blood pressure. You um, want to make the cup as sure the cup is the right size. Just kind of lift this up a little bit. 
I'm just going to actually put your arm at the side. Good. You also want to check. Good. Okay, so this is the right size cuff. If we use the wrong size cuff, it'll falsely elevate your blood pressure. Just so I can get a rough idea of what your blood pressure is, I want to, um, I'm not going to use my stethoscope at first. I'm just going to pump up the cuff and get some idea when your pulse goes away so I know what the top number is here. Good, and I get it to be about 138, um, which is a little bit uh, on the higher side. Um, as we talked about in the history about your high blood pressure, we'll you know, talk about that uh, further after the examination is over with. Next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check your blood pressure. Just, you just kind of let your arm stay loose. And let me hold it up. Keep your elbow nice and straight there. Okay, good. I think 130 over 86. Now I'm going to check it in the other arm here. I can kind of bring this around the back. Good. And I get 132 over 84. So there's always a little bit of difference between the arms, but that's an acceptable difference. Good. Next, I want to just kind of examine your head. And you turn your head to the side there for me. Really way good. And I'm just going to touch different parts of your head and scalp. You tell me, is there any pain or discomfort as I do that? Mm, no. Good. Can you turn your head this way? Just want to look a little closer look at your scalp here. See if there's any. And lend your head forward, good, and that way. Just checking to see if there's any scalp skin problems, and I don't see that. Good. And then I'm going to have you just look up towards the ceiling. I'm going to pull your eyelids down here. Good. Okay. And that looks fine. I'm going to check your your vision, John. Um, I'm going to have you. What I'm going to do is have you put one hand over one palm over your eye, mm -hmm. and hold this card in your other hand. And why don't you try to read? Uh, that line for me there. All right, it's uh, three, seven, four, two, five, eight. Good. Can you try the the line below that? Nine, three, seven, eight, two, six. Good. How about the line below that still? Four, two, eight, seven, three, nine. Good. So you got all those answers right. So that's twenty, twenty. Let's have you do it in the other hand, palm over the other eye. Good. Uh, this Try one. this line right there, yes. 937826. Good. And the next line below it. Can't do that one? <laughs> 426, I'm kind of good for memory. So. Oh, then don't do it. <laughs> so that'd be uh, 2025 in, uh, in your left eye. Good. Okay. Next, I want to check what we call your um, peripheral vision. Um, so I'm going to ask you to do, John, I'm going to ask you to stare right at my nose. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wiggle my fingers to one side or the other or both. I'm going to ask you just to point where you see that wiggle. So you're going to try just to stare at me and I stare at you and tell me which side you see wiggle, okay? That's a, that side. Okay. That side. Good. Both sides. Good. Okay, I'm just going to move here now. That side. Good. That side. Good. And then now. Both sides. Good. That side. That side. Good. That's, that's good. Your peripheral vision is fine. I want to check your pupil uh, response to light. So I'm going to ask you, John, just to kind of stare straight across at the wall, okay? Let me just shine the light at your eyes and see how your pupils constrict. Good. Good. And both pupils are working normally. The next thing I want to do is check how well your muscles in the eye move the eyes around. So I'm asking you just to look at my finger and just to keep your head straight. And just move your eyes to look over here. Good. Then look up, look down, look all the way across, up, down. Good. And then I'm going to have you look in. Good. That's all fine. 
Next part of the examination I, I want to do is to check the sensation uh, on your face. And what I'm going to do, John, is just touch different parts of your, um, your face with this cotton tip. Maybe you close your eyes, and when I touch, just tell me where I'm touching, okay? Forehead. Okay. Forehead. Cheek. 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 Good. Chin. Good. Okay. You can go ahead and open your eyes. That was all, all fine. The next thing I'm going to have you do next uh, is uh, to wrinkle your forehead. Just kind of look up at the ceiling. Good. And show me your teeth real wide. Good. Okay. I want to check your hearing now, so I'm going to rub my fingers one side or the other. And if you close your eyes and point to me which side you, you hear the rub on. Okay? That side. That side. Both sides. Good. Okay. And can you turn your head to the left and just give me a cough? <coughs> Good. Okay. You can look straight ahead now. I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders, so just lift up. Good. And turn your head that way against my hand. Good. Now push the other way. Good. Okay. And then stick your tongue out at me. Good. Okay. And most patients usually like that part of the examination.